Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing a chatty get ready with me about Makeup Geek. So sad. So I'm going to use some of my super, super, super old eyeshadows. <laughs> I'm using Beaches and Cream. Anybody remember this from the Manny palette? Everybody used to use Beaches and Cream and Peach Smoothie. Which my Peach Smoothie broke, but it was already like shattered. So this is from the Manny MUA palette, which I have all of the eyeshadows except for one that shattered. So but I already hit pan on it. That was the first makeup launch that I actually like stayed on the site and like waited. I got it when it restocked the first time because the website crashed. That was crazy. Six years ago. That's just like insane. And now look at him. <laughs> Everybody used to use Makeup Geek, like everybody. Like you could not find a YouTuber that didn't start with Peach Smoothie pretty much or something with Makeup Geek, like I was a big, that was like the first brand that I saw that was started by a YouTuber or like an influencer. And also the first brand I saw like collabs with with YouTubers it was just really big so it's just it's sad how everything happened then I'm gonna use the shade let's see if I'm gonna go with Frappe used to be my my favorite eyeshadow like ever I've hit pan on it I used to use that literally every single day and latte so let's do I want to do curfew I wish I used this eyeshadow more. This is back in the day when I was like intimidated by dark shadows. Like I thought like, oh my God, it's going to look so bad. Like, so, and I got this actually because of Manny. But I remember being like, oh, it looks so much more purple on him than me. I remember I was so excited when I got these for Christmas. Yeah, I got a bunch of Makeup Geek eyeshadows. That was my second time getting eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. Besides the Manny MUA palette. But I got that later. So I've had, I had three, I think I ordered from Makeup Geek three times. So yeah, I had a whole list of like, oh, I want this eyeshadow and this eyeshadow. She collabed with Kathleen Lights. And I wanted to try her complexion products. That's also another thing. I don't know what happened to that. Like, she kept pulling products and then being like, oh, I'm going to redo it. And then, like, she never, never, like, I don't know what happened to them. Like, I remember I really wanted to get that romance blush. So, I don't know. I was just kind of confused by the brand, honestly. All right. I want to blend these two together. It's kind of looking a little mid -day. So, we're going to use, should I do my frappe? I don't know. Oh, my God. I used to literally go town with a shade I used to be obsessed like I like if you look at pictures of me from that time I used to use this literally almost every single day I used to use my faves so I've been into makeup well I've watched so I started watching YouTube in as I like you know funny videos and stuff I started watching YouTube in 2000 in I think like 13 yeah because it was right before I graduated college and I graduated in college in 2014 and then of course got obsessed with it Ooh, brings back memories <laughs> so nostalgic all right I'm so sad because I remember her so like what happened to her like foundation that she talked about her concealer that she talked about like all these products that she talked about for like years and years and years and like never heard about it like I I love Marlena and I love like you know she really tried but I still feel like even before 2020 like the brand was not the same like I don't know what happened like these were the first duochromes I ever heard of or like saw one of like the first indie brands I was like into or like heard about too like I don't know what happened so I'm still honestly like confused and then like what happened to her like her clothing line I don't know I'm just I'm confused <laughs> like I'm just I don't know her explanation like I know it was really hard and I completely understand that but also feel like there was a lot lacking like what happened I do like that she made her products in the U.S. but because of COVID and everything 
I do know that it's very hard to get raw materials. And so a lot of brands have started to, well, not like a lot, but like some brands have started to produce in China, which I don't really have a problem with. Like as long as the quality is still good, I don't have an issue with it. So, and I know that she had asked if people were like, okay with that when it's her brand, like she could have done it anyway, but I feel like with the beauty industry, there's so much new stuff always coming out like you got to keep up with the joneses and like that just didn't happen like there were more brands that were doing single shadows there were more indie brands that were becoming popular there were more like duochromes like tons of stuff going on so it's like i don't know what happened to like coming out with new products i'm not saying you have to come out with new products like color pop like constantly but still like even with like i feel like the marketing like marlena stopped doing videos regularly even before she had a child and i'm a mom so i completely understand that you get busy but I feel like with your brand, when I feel that excitement, we want to feel like you're excited about your brand and like we're excited. So I, it's like, I'm not like a business person over here. So it's like, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just like spewing my like little knowledge about business, but that's how I feel like their brand changed. Like people stopped talking about them. She made this big deal about like, she gets to talk about rebranding, new products. If you're talking about new products, like when are they coming out? What is the game plan? I get that you want to come out with like the perfect foundation, the perfect concealer, but like us as consumers, like if you're going to talk about something, like we want to know like the game plan, like when is it coming out? What's the dealio? Like she has dry skin. So like I was really excited when she talked about like concealers and foundations and like all these products, but I don't know. Like I said, I just don't really know what happened. I don't think we will know what happened unless she comes out with like a video. This is just my little opinion. <laughs> I'm just like upset like I'm not like it's like hard because it's like am I like I'm so surprised you know like it's more like disappointed I don't know it's just upsetting like I know that she's obviously very upset but it's like I wonder what she's gonna do now like I wonder like what's gonna happen all right, so I'm going to use, this is probably like the shade that I've used the least. And I think I'm going to use a bit of the red too. Which I was also scared of. Mars. It's like a pinky red. Let's use that first. It's very pigmented. I was so terrified of using shades like this. I don't know why. I just think that like my blending skills were not the best. And I, I don't know. They just were like intimidating to me just I'm sad her quality and the price range was really really good like there's still companies out there that are making like $20 plus single eyeshadows and I'm like uh why we can get eyeshadows for way cheaper like look at that they're so good who remembers the shades blacklight and karma literally the first duochrome I ever had I don't know what I should do like I really want to use one of them. But I also want to use, you know what? We're going to go all Manny today. <laughs> this is literally the entire tip for curfew. Okay. So this is the shade Insomnia. So this used to be a pigment. And so they made it into a press pigment. I'm going to put some next glitter glue on. You guys see that? I wanted to do a pop of green, Ellie Girl and Dragon. And I did a wing because I just felt like doing a wing. And I did my face makeup and blah, blah, blah. So it's bringing back so many memories. It's just really sad. I think I'm just going to do insomnia on my lower lash line. Remember, this is when I like first got into makeup. I didn't necessarily watch her in the beginning when I started watching YouTube. I don't know why. I just did not know about her channel. But still. It's definitely an end of an era. But maybe she'll start making more videos. I'm going to use Artemis for my inner corner shade. This palette was such a big deal. At least, well, on the, in the YouTube community. 
I remember when literally even Manny, all he would talk about was makeup beats. Like every single tutorial he ever did, he was slightly different because instead of using peach smoothie, he used beaches and cream. And then I don't know when he stopped talking about makeup week. Because the market started getting really oversaturated, like more launches were coming out like literally every single week. And like they got to keep up with the Joneses too. So I don't know. So still really pretty though. Hey guys, sorry I forgot to close out my video. I just wanted to say that I'm gonna miss Makeup Geek. These are almost all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And you guys can see the pants. <laughs> so I wish you the best Marlena and I'm excited to hopefully see you post more videos and whatever you know, your life endeavors and journey endeavors. So RIP Makeup Geek and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and I'll catch you in my new one. Bye guys.